as the silver screen flickers to life, transporting us to a bygone era, there's a certain magic that dances in the air. Imagine the anticipation, the hushed whispers, and the shared excitement as the curtains draw back, revealing a world that exists solely within the confines of celluloid. Now, let your mind drift back to that very moment when you first encountered the enigmatic allure of the 1959 classic, The Bat. It was a time when black and white cinema painted vivid worlds in grayscale, when suspense crackled like electricity in the air, and when every scene was an invitation to unravel the mysteries held within. Perhaps it was the haunting atmosphere that first captured your attention, the way the shadows seemed to cloak secrets that only the bravest would dare to uncover. Or maybe it was the unforgettable characters, each with their own motives and quirks, leaving an indelible mark on your memory. As the story unfolded, you might have found yourself on the edge of your seat, heart racing with each unexpected turn. And oh, those spine-chilling moments that lingered long after the credits rolled, the ones that burrowed into your subconscious, ensuring that you would forever associate the faintest sound in the night with an echoing unease. But enough reminiscing. Let's journey back to the present, where we're about to unravel some lesser-known treasures about the bat that are bound to deepen your appreciation for this cinematic gem. So, dim the lights, turn up the volume, and prepare to be transported to a world of facts and anecdotes that will add a new layer of fascination to a film that has already woven itself into the tapestry of our culture. Get ready to uncover secrets about the production, the cast, and the behind-the-scenes tales that might just leave you in awe. From serendipitous casting choices to curious filming locations, the story behind the bat is as captivating as the film itself. So, settle in and let's dive into a realm where celluloid dreams and reality intertwine, a place where the past connects with the present in unexpected ways. And now, without further ado, let's shed light on the shadows and illuminate the mysteries of the bat. The 1959 movie The Bat emerged as a suspenseful and engaging thriller, adapted from a successful play by Mary Roberts Reinhardt and Avery Hopwood. The story unfolds within the confines of a secluded mansion, as characters find themselves trapped by a lurking, enigmatic criminal known as the Bat. The film showcases an array of iconic characters, including the resourceful mystery novelist Cornelia Van Gorder and the determined detective Anderson. Notably, the film's unique style combines elements of suspense, mystery, and psychological tension, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. The Bat left an indelible mark on popular culture by contributing to the ever-evolving landscape of suspense cinema. Its atmospheric setting and gripping narrative influenced subsequent works in the mystery genre, and the film's portrayal of a cat and mouse game between a cunning criminal and a determined detective became a template for many thrillers to come. The movie's impact also resonated through adaptations and homages, further solidifying its place in the cinematic canon. In summary, The Bat remains a timeless classic that originated from a successful stage play, introducing iconic characters and blending suspense and mystery in a distinctive manner. Its influence on popular culture endures, as it shaped the trajectory of suspense cinema. In a revelation that sheds new light on the enigmatic 1959 thriller The Bat, a vintage gem that has both fascinated and perplexed cinema enthusiasts, actor Vincent Price, known for his chilling performances, shared an unexpected personal connection to the film. Price's chilling role in The Bat may have seemed a natural fit for the horror icon, but as he disclosed in a 1987 interview on Sinister Image, the stage version of The Bat had instilled deep-seated fear in him as a child. Price's decision to accept the film role was driven by his hope that the filmmakers would breathe new life into the narrative, bringing it up to date for modern audiences. Disappointingly, the final result failed to meet his expectations, leaving him disillusioned with what he referred to as a lackluster script. This revelation provides a fascinating window into the challenges faced by even the most seasoned actors when navigating the transition from stage to screen. With Price's iconic presence and the film's intriguing plot, The Bat garnered attention as the fourth cinematic adaptation of a renowned novel and stage play. Yet, despite its promising premise and notable cast, the film's journey into the public domain has led to a proliferation of versions, some of which are marred by inferior quality. This phenomenon speaks to the complex interplay between copyright law and artistic legacy, allowing the bat to take on new life in unconventional ways. As cinephiles continue to explore the labyrinthine tale of the bat, Price's candid recollections shine a light on the delicate balance between childhood fears and cinematic aspirations. The 1959 adaptation may not have met Price's hopes, but its enduring presence in the public domain has ensured its continued exploration, even as the echoes of disappointed expectations linger. The Bat captivated audiences not only with its thrilling storyline but also with its automotive allure. The movie, adapted from the 1908 novel The Circular Staircase, featured a 1959 Lincoln premiere and a prominent early scene. This vehicle, a symbol of opulence, stretched 227.1 inches long and weighed a substantial 5,200 pounds, cementing its status as one of the largest American production cars ever made. But the automobiles weren't limited to Cornelia's lavish ride. Dr. Wells' garage showcased a 1959 Edsel Corsair, adding a touch of sophistication to the film's setting. The juxtaposition of these cars, both icons of their time, hinted at the characters' personalities and backgrounds, subtly enriching the narrative. 
This cinematic gem not only wove a suspenseful tale but also connected to its theatrical roots. The film's title was derived from a 1920 play that graced the Morosco Theater at 217 W. 45th Cent. Audiences were first introduced to this gripping storyline on August 23, 1920, and were enthralled for an astonishing 867 performances, a testament to its enduring appeal. Revivals in 1937 and 1953 further solidified its place in entertainment history. In a world where stories often fade, The Bat stands as a testament to time's inability to dim its allure. From lavish cars to theatrical origins, it continues to captivate audiences, preserving its legacy in the annals of cinema history. Director's Muse, Lenita Lane in her final film role for The Bat in the Annals of Cinematic History. 1,959 seconds The Bat stands as an intriguing gem, adorned with secrets and curiosities that continue to captivate cinephiles. One such nugget revolves around the casting of Lizzie Allen, a pivotal character in the film. Director Crane Wilbur's search for the perfect actress concluded close to home, as Lenita Lane, his wife, took on the role. Notably, this performance marked Lane's final appearance on the silver screen, adding a poignant layer to her portrayal. As the enigmatic Lizzie Allen, Lane's presence weaved seamlessly into the film's atmosphere of mystery and suspense. The on-screen collaboration between director and spouse lent a distinctive intimacy to the character, leaving an indelible mark on the production. The partnership between Crane Wilbur and Lenita Lane not only enriched the Bat but also etched their connection into the fabric of the film's narrative. Lenita Lane's final bow in the Bat not only punctuated her acting career but also encapsulated a unique chapter in the film's making. While the passage of time may have dimmed the lights on this cinematic moment, the resonance of Lane's performance and her collaboration with her husband continue to cast a subtle yet undeniable glow on the Bat. Final film of Darla Hood While Lenita Lane's connection to the Bat paints a compelling picture, another intriguing facet of the film is its role as the final cinematic appearance of Darla Hood. A child star known for her role in the Our Gang series, Hood's transition to more mature roles found its curtain call in this mysterious thriller. In The Bat, Hood's presence bridges generations of cinematic history, linking her youthful beginnings to the suspenseful ambience of the film. Though her role might not have dominated the screen, the significance of her inclusion is a testament to the film's ability to encapsulate diverse talents under its enigmatic wings. As we unravel the layers of the bat, the dual narratives of Lenita Lane's final performance and Darla Hood's cinematic swan song emerge as compelling threads, woven into the fabric of a film that continues to intrigue and captivate. In the dark corners of cinema, where tales of suspense and mystery lurk, the bat remains an enigmatic figure, with its cast's final bows adding an extra layer of fascination to its storied history. Public domain proliferation, The Bat's enduring legacy The 1959 film The Bat, a classic mystery thriller, has found new life in the digital age due to its public domain status. This legal designation has led to a proliferation of versions, often of inferior quality, flooding various online platforms. The movie, directed by Crane Wilbur, stars Agnes Moorhead and Vincent Price in a suspenseful tale set in a secluded mansion. Despite its gripping storyline and notable cast, the film's copyright status has catalyzed a wave of unauthorized reproductions. These versions vary widely in terms of visual and audio fidelity, impacting the overall viewer experience. One remarkable aspect of the bat lies within the narrative's ambience. Dr. Wells' Garage showcases a 1959 Edsel Corsair. This choice of automobile reflects the film's contemporary touch, subtly embedding the story within its era. Beyond the movie's thematic and visual elements, the bat holds a unique place in Agnes Moorhead's filmography. Renowned for her supporting roles, Moorhead took the lead in this film, a distinction shared with only one other project, Dear Dead Delilah, where she received top billing. As enthusiasts and archivists grapple with the surge of divergent versions, The Bat continues to capture the imagination of new generations. The film's public domain status, while fostering accessibility, underscores the need for preservation to ensure its original artistic integrity endures. In an era of digital reproduction and open access, The Bat stands as both a testament to its time and a cautionary tale about the implications of copyright laws on cinematic heritage. As the credits roll in the echoes of the 1959 cinematic masterpiece, The Bat, gently fade into the realm of nostalgia, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of past and present. This film, a timeless tapestry woven with suspense, mystery, and intrigue, has traversed the decades, leaving its indelible mark on the canvas of cinema history. As you reflect upon the enigmatic characters, the shadowy corridors, and the spine-tingling plot twists, consider how The Bat has become more than just a movie. It's a portal to your memories, an embodiment of your emotions, and a vessel that carries you back to moments when you first encountered its mesmerizing narrative. Perhaps you watched it during a rain-soaked evening, the pattering drops outside mimicking the tension on screen. Or maybe it was a lazy Sunday afternoon when you stumbled upon it, and its enigmatic allure hooked you instantaneously. The beauty of the bat lies not only in its captivating storyline but also in the personal connections it forms with each viewer. It's a conduit through which we recall our own experiences, fears, and curiosities. How did you react when the suspense reached its zenith? 
Which characters' motivations resonated with you the most? What secrets of the plot continue to unravel in your mind's eye? Now, the time has come for you to share your treasured recollections and reflections. Let your voice join the chorus of those who have been spellbound by the bat. Your memories and insights are like puzzle pieces that complete the intricate mosaic of this cinematic gem. Whether you pen down your thoughts or engage in conversations with fellow enthusiasts, your perspective enriches the legacy of this timeless tale. Thank you for allowing the bat to take flight in your heart and mind. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated as you breathe life into the narrative that has captivated generations. As we bid adieu for now, remember that this isn't just the end, it's a new beginning, an invitation to delve into the cinematic labyrinth of the bat whenever nostalgia beckons. Reflect, remember, and share, let the echoes of the bat continue to resonate within you.